Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pokemon Gen 2 playthrough. We're continuing the rest of the Cel uh, not Celadon. <laughs> Might as well be. It's like <laughs> Celadon Mark II. <laughs> we're in Goldenrod. <laughs> yeah, we're still in Goldenrod City because there are still a few areas. We we're still have points of interest that we have. There's like a little city tour. It is one of the largest cities in the game. Definitely but looks it. It actually is the largest city. I think it city. is the largest city. Yeah, because again, this is the equivalent of Cel uh, Celadon City from Gen 1. Oh, that has a train station too? Holy shit. Sign me up. One, please. Fuck you. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> I'll come back in a minute. <laughs> you know, it's going to be a minute, all right? A yeah. long minute. <laughs> yeah, a really long minute. <laughs> going to be in a different region by the time this train gets here. And then somehow it's just, it has, a mi only a minute has passed throughout the entire time. That would be some uh, shit. This is the radio tower. Now, there are the two things we want to get here. One is the radio card so that we can plug into our Pokemon care, listen to some sweet tunes along the way of our journey. It also needs the plot. The other thing is, though, is that you could do this here if you get a match for anything. If you get all five, it's a Master Ball. Yeah, never had it happen. Never either. Yeah, I... Uh, I your ID number doesn't match. Get out of here. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> so anyway, we got a bit of a C Cinnabar Island callback here with the quiz game. We got to answer five questions correctly, and we'll get the radio card. Sure. And they're pretty simple for the so most part. They really are. appears only in the morning. Yes, yes, yes that, that was Lady Mm-hmm. Question two. Is, is this statement, statement correct? correct? You can't buy a berry at a mart. Yes. yes, that is correct. For I some mean, reason. is that incorrect? <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> Question three. Does H101 contain the move Flash? <laughs> 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 Why don't we just skip to question five? Are there Charmander on the slot rails? No, there's not. I never gambled to know that. A radio <laughs> card. Just stick this little switch cartridge inside our Poke Gear radio, and, and bam, it. now it's a radio station. So They're the thing about the radio station is that you can actually do, you actually can listen to uh, different tunes if you want to. It's also how you can earn, uh, know the lucky numbers of the Lucky Channel. Regarding uh, the tunes, you can either, depending on what day it is, it's either gonna put Pokemon to sleep or make them come out after you more. Yeah, uh, jiggly. There are there are benefits to using it for catching Pokemon. Uh, you, again, you can change the music if you just want to, or in the Lucky Channel's case, that's just where you learn the, the numbers, and you bring it back here to and get a And if you play it in the runes now, you get a weird frequency. That is true. That frequency freaks me out. It does. Well, uh, why? We'll, see, we'll, 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 we'll show it off later, but it freaks me out. Uh, because I imagine uh, me, it was like, was it Pokemon Gen 2 was 2000, we got it here, I was 13 years old, uh, and you're playing in the dead of night, and that's the only sound playing. <laughs> It and just think you're going to be attacked by alphabet soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not scared anymore. It's your alphabet soup, it says get a job. We're going to save the ruins of Alpha later when we can actually solve all the puzzles in that place at once. Instead of having to do like one and the other later down the road. Because you, you need Surf in order to finish it completely. Uh, surf Did they have a surf fucking black belt spring. guarding the goddamn way up? Hey, I mean, that's all. <laughs> that's enough for me. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to fuck with that guy. He can seismic toss me. <laughs> You have a Pokemon that does that too. Yeah, I know, but it's not really mine. How about I size and toss your salad if you don't get out of here? I'm ten. You're going to rape me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm uh, ten years old. Anyways, this you're is the going radio. to jail, Mister Spiro. Spiro, tiny, tiny bird, bird. <laughs> to protect yep. it's, it's tiny territory. It it's <laughs> it's me, DJ Ben. That's nice. Yeah! How y'all doing now? Yeah, there's nothing on. <laughs> I think we just pretty much heard the uh, entire frequency of Rook Furberger trying to get home. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> but like I was saying, we just changed the background music to the Lucky Channel by uh, popping on the radio. So. Why would you do that? Golden it's it's, it's, the, it's the equivalent of the iPod in MGS4. I do like the Game Corner. The Lucky Channel's music is the Game Corner music. I love the Game Corner music in this game. Like, like it's the equivalent of the iPod in MGS4. Yeah. It on. And you know what? Um, Ooh, a bike shop. I uh, just Final Fantasy 15 brought in the MP3 yes. player in DLC. It was I like one of that. the best things they can do about it. You know what? It really needs a Final Fantasy 14 as well. Because oh, the only way you can get different music in like the overworld and all that sort of thing, if you're riding a mount, and that's yeah. fine. But there are so many damn orchestrian roles I love in 14 that it's like, I want to listen to this on the go. <laughs> right? <laughs> so please give me a ye old MP3 player. <laughs> Come on, we ride on motorcycles. It's called YouTube Red. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the woman that does it. Yeah, this is the one that checks your friendship But you need to get here. good stuff. Yeah. My croconaut is... is, is she is, also gauges your the happiness of your Pokemon, and you can kind of tell when it's going to evolve. 
Oh, really? Is that how, is that how it works too? Basically, um, if she says the Pokemon is super ecstatic to be near you, it's close to happiness evolution. By the by, this guy here's got a Pokemon. This guy here's got a bicycle. Yes. Now the bicycles normally cost you like a hundred million yen. I love or this part. Or pocket dollars. I do love this part. My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. All right, I'll hold you to that right now, Dick. Let's see here. <laughs> just gonna just put this in here and oh, I can't ride it anywhere, <laughs> asshole. It's a piece of shit. I want my money back. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> by the by, um, the, 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 I found out why the bicycles are so expensive. Carry you insurance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, f fuck you, fuck you, man. I'm gonna call you Billy. So what I did there was that I was I, I was able to register the bicycle. What this means is that you can now put it on a hotkey on your select button. And right, right into the game corner. Yeah. <laughs> Time to gamble. So, yeah, this is the, the game corner of Gen 2. Uh, I hate there, how Gen 4 got rid of this entirely and put in fucking Voltorb flip. Like, that was a fucking acceptable... Because of the gambling... Uh, uh, well, no, Voltorb... And all sort of no, Voltorb flip just sucks. Well, no, no, no. The reason why it was replaced entirely no, it, was... It's a different law. It's not a, It's not um censorship. It's just a law. Like, they weren't allowed... Like, Japan passed a law or something like that that didn't allow kids to promote gambling to, to minors. Yeah. So as a result of it, they had to get rid of it. Yeah, because I think we have to keep remembering ourselves as we go on this vast Pokemon journey full of uh, obstacles and crime organizations that were only 10 years old. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Interestingly enough, though, um, I never gambled. I just, like, every if, if I had, like, a, I would go beat the shit out of Leaf 4, convert $500, for, get 500 coins for every 10,000 and beat him again with the amulet coin on. <laughs> yeah, because uh, normally... Uh, well, I'm in, in, like, early, huh? In, like, Gen 1, the only... If I'm going for a full Pokedex completion, I'll use the missing no glitch to uh, manipulate, to b duplicate nuggets <laughs> to get a lot of money and just exchange money for game corner points because I can't be bothered betting. Right. Because, I, I, yeah, I'm not really good at slot machines and all that sort of thing. Like, even in real life, like, uh, when I, when on the off chance I go to the casino, I sing I'm out there to get free beverages like a shameless whore. <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, I'll, I'll play the slots one or two times, maybe nice. a game of roulette, but that's it. You know, I won't go over forty dollars in in betting. Although I do like that little jingle that plays when you exit the slot machine. It's like do 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 do. Yeah, broke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah bro. So this is the other game you can win here. This one has you. This one gives you better odds of winning, but the payouts are lower. Of course. Basically, you pick one of the two cards, and you think which card is going to be the one showing up, and you know you, you realize it never is. You keep playing until all the other slots are empty, thereby increasing your chances of winning. But the amount of coins you spend to get get that far in doesn't really make up for the fact that you're spending exactly. so much money on there, which is why it's a waste of time, honestly. If there's a way to manipulate it, I don't know about it. I don't care. I'd rather just, you know, buy game corner points. Exactly. From money and get Pokemon that way. Even then, like, one of the prizes you get is Abra. I can go outside and catch an Abra right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it's for free. But I think wa this is the only way you can get a Wobbuffet? No, you can get Wobbuffet in Dark Cave. Okay. You know, okay. There you go. Right there. Don't need anyone. Comically enough, Wobbuffet was placed here so that you can abuse its counterattack against Whitney. <laughs> well, there's one. That's one way of dealing with her. Again, uh, we call we call them a chop here that we get from the trainer, the the Whitney killer, because it's specifically built to deal with Whitney's shit. It is a fighting type, which is great against normal types, and it's also female, so uh, she can't use a tract on you. Comic. I think though, um, if you traded a male, you'd get a male. Uh, if that's the way, I don't know if it works that way. I've, I've always, to my knowledge, it's always been a female, female machop. This lady here is going to have three centric. Nine, 13, and 17 are our levels. Like this is our ones. first beauty trainer, I believe. They all just use gorgeous looking Pokemon. Of course, cutesy ones as well. Yes. Victoria. Victoria. Great name. And a centric. Yeah, remember that thing? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> it has been since, like, Newbark that we saw last all one. Right, so... That's low the, kick. That's, judo kick! That's the Teddy Ursa ripoff. Low kick um, is a move in this game that actually factors in your opponent's weight. So the heavier the Pokemon is, the more that damage that damage I move will do. Yeah, so look at a Snorlax and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, all you do, all you do, is just sort of kick it straight in the uh, the, the, the 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 cooter, yeah. The beef. <laughs> yeah, the beef. The beef. What was it called again? <sighs> beef. 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 Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to find the video for you guys and show you after this. Okay, fine. <laughs> so we can put that behind us. Yeah. <laughs> Just burn it. Burn it? Yeah. Burn this memory. Why don't you use a karate chop? Because eh, I just want to low kick it. You just want to kick it on the balls? Yeah, I just want to kick it. It's got a target in his stomach. <laughs> you did have a karate chop. Yeah, I know, but I want to kick it too. 
<laughs> just, punt. just punt it. <laughs> <laughs> Get that weak shit out of my face. Yeah. This whole gym is shaped in a Clefairy. You yeah, which I didn't that? know for years. <laughs> Until someone showed me a level layout for the map. Or probably like a Did You Know gaming video. Like, did you know the map of the Whitney's gym is in the shape of a Clefairy? Great. So <laughs> I, still owe the, I still owe college a lot of money. <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, at, least I know, at least I know Clefairy is uh, in the shape of uh, at least the gym. That was more than you, you learned more there than you did in school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meowth, it's uh, fast. It has some decent attack power. Good, good move pull, uh, and eventually it just goes down to a karate chop. That's it. Meowth is so boring. <laughs> the, no, Meowth. This is, like Persian was actually a really viable Pokemon in Gen One. I yeah, believe. for Slash. For Slash, and, and it put good speed as well. Yeah, great speed, and it had decent coverage, and that was about it. Yeah, uh, in Gen Two's case, it's not as much as viable, I believe. Right, doubly so. Well, even in Gen One's case, it wasn't bad. It was just Taurus did everything it did, but better. Yeah. Friday need slash. Yeah. Stop, yeah. <laughs> Give me an earthquake. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna rock your world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just sent her pet cat after us. Yeah, seriously. It's not even a Pokemon battle. It's like you felt uh, attacked and you just sent a cat after us. <laughs> <laughs> Down through the Clary's tail. I heard that bump until I was like, what, you record this three in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you tired? Look, my, my first, actually, my first recording I did like uh, a few months ago in an attempt, I did start at night, and I was bumping all over the place. So <laughs> and I was going to use the excuse, like, oh, it's fucking three in the morning in the game. <laughs> Snap off. I'm tired. Just hitting the fucking head with a karate chop in the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Karate chop action. Karate chop action. Press the button on the back. Yeah. <laughs> I was level 13, right? Yes, it was. Oh, damn, it's still... And look, you're level 21. Are you going to evolve? No, 28. No, 28 is, becomes my choke. Is it damn. trade for champ? Yeah, unfortunately. I can't use my champ. Alakazam, Gengar. Uh, what was Golem. The, Golem? Yeah, Golem was a trade only. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah it sucks. I'm so alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily that won't be the case when we when we start start with like Gen Four and above because you know we'll probably be recording straight from the DS from that one, right? Or so. in this case, an emu or in that case, an emulator. In a, well, no, because no. I, I actually don't like using DS emulators. Um, I'd rather just use the DS capture card. I'm. So now you're gonna let me borrow to record? I mean, yeah, you could, oh. it's really easy to set up. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah. So you just knock down a Jigglypuff in one chop. Then again, it is a fucking balloon. It's a balloon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Although, if you want your own 3DS capture card, you go. Ugh. Yeah, it's fucking. An That's an like. investment. An investment and possible and an investment and five of your firstborns, <laughs> five firstborns, five firstborns. Look, yeah, I was gonna say, wait, how they can't be all firstborns. <laughs> Godspeed to your pussy if you manage to survive that. So this one is three Jigglypuffs. Yes, yep. it's a little juggling act. Uh, Jigglypuff is just HP, good attack. That's all about it. Yeah, <laughs> critical. That was a crit. Not as good as Chansey though, in terms of HP. Oh, yeah. Special. Nothing will beat Chansey. And, oh, Blissey. Blissey. Yeah, oof. Blissey's introduced in this game. And Blissey, oh, my God. You want to talk about a competitive tank? Yeah, that thing, <laughs> just takes, <laughs> that thing just takes a fucking beating and keeps on ticking. Yeah. If you're special. With a smile on its face. If you're doing special attacks. If you're doing physical attacks, it goes down like a wet fart. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> and I know my wet farts. And Give me that. a minute. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so this is uh, probably the most infamous gym trainer in Gen 2. This is Whitney. Uh, and f yeah, she's known as the wall for a lot of people because this is where if you don't know your type matching, you're gonna get your ass. No, right. no, it didn't even matter type matching. Whitney's melt tank is just that strong. Yeah, Clefairy. Clefairy starts off first, and Clefairy, honestly, from our thing, it either hits you with double slap or spams metronome. Yeah. Fun fact: metronome once came out of Sacred Fire to me. <laughs> really? Oh fuck! That was a move to get hit with. <laughs> I'm gonna twirl my fingers here and then send you God's wrath. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't affect Gasly. No, it's normal. Well, that's, type. Be well, that's because that move was takedown. Takedown is normal type. Yeah. So let's talk about curse. See, now, if curse is used by a ghost type, you take half of your HP, but you put a curse on your po on the opposing Pokemon. Which I think hits it for like a quarter. I think it's like yeah, uh, or at least uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah, 25 percent of their HP guaranteed. Like and you can't mitigate it for whatsoever. Some kid, some kid was talking about Machoke, um, not Machoke, Machop, coming into this gym. First thing he sees is Clefairy doing Metronome, and then Clefairy used Psychic. Oh, damn. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if 
if you use Curse by any other type of Pokemon, it does something different completely. Yeah, it, raises, it drops your speed by one stat, but it increases your attack and defense by one stat. Yeah. So uh, it makes it pretty valuable, though, for certain mods like Slurlax. Are there any other moves that do that, that have a different effect depending on the type of Pokemon that uses it? Not to my knowledge, no. Yeah. Anyway, but here it is. This is the, this is the mill tank that it does. Uh, this is where you use Low Kick. Yeah, this is where you use Low Kick or Karate. Ch well, Low Kick, yeah, because mill tank is heavy. Low Kick right in the udder. You know, it, it is a cow. <laughs> but the, the, the thing about uh, Whitney for a lot it. of people... What, yeah, I know, right? Uh, Whitney's rollout is probably what people hate it the most. Assu uh, also, assuming you weren't using a male Pokemon, because if you are using a male Pokemon, it will use attract. It will use attract. attract is basically a gender reverse move that can stop your Pokemon from attacking totally. Yeah, and while it's not attacking, it's using rollout, and rollout gets stronger the more it's you use it. It's a rock move, it. too. Yeah, it's a, yeah, no, it's so weird. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, but, you know, Johnny just used the next attack, took it out in two shots, out of boy. Yeah, again... You want to go out of your way to get this Machab. Assuming you don't want to use... There, there are many other ways of getting rid of Whitney, but... If All you want of which to, wrong. If you want to have an easier time, you get the Whitney Killer. Trade that Abra for that Machop. I believe in Gold and Silver was just a Drowsy. Uh, yes. It was a, it was a Drowsy for trading. Yes, yeah. it was a Drowsy. Uh, Crystal was Abra. And now she ain't giving us the badge. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Thankfully, though, like this trainer here just says that. Don't worry. Doing the only does is whenever she <laughs> yeah, loses. It's fine. <laughs> well, what do uh, you want? A badge? All right, fine. Here, it's the asshole badge. Yeah. It's just the middle <laughs> finger. <Shit. laughs> Here's your badge. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> God damn it. And now you got a track. But yeah. here's the thing, though. After this game, though, like Gen 3 onwards, a track's success rate isn't as good. Like, you'll always hit if it's the opposite gender, but then afterwards, it's like, not, they'll, they're more likely to hit you than they are to um, be mobilized by love. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trying to beat Whitney, but it's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> so the way I see it, these other trainers are here. I, f I think they all lost to Whitney, so now, like, their punishment is that, oh, you have to work for me now. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's how it works when you're when you're when you're a gym leader. And you have to if you want to escape, you have to beat Whitney. <laughs> or, pay, or pay the yakuza. Or pay the, yeah, just part of the oh yakuza. God. Oh my God. <laughs> I was hoping oh, you could ride your bike here. One no. plant, please. <laughs> I what? like some of your finest weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it's code. Yes, I would like a dozen red roses, please. Oh hi, Juana. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> Here you go. That's me. How much is it? That'll be a hundred po pocket money. Here you go. Keep the change. I hi, love smells like hi, that. Hi, Snubble. You're right. <laughs> yeah, we just got a fucking wrong. We got a butt dial. God damn it. Essentially. Oh, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> Who the hell is Tanya? <laughs> the deepest Pokemon lore. Oh, shit. Tanya. Maybe she was originally a hex girl. Maybe she was Arceus. Maybe. Oh, fuck. What, Tanya? That's a really weird nickname for, for God. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. We're going to catch you guys next time with the next part of Pokemon Gen 2. We're heading above Goldenrod City the next time, and we're also going to participate in a bug catch.